Christmas everyone and a happy new year. I am Nathan Lawrence Loma Sabino. I am a grade 1 student in Morning Star. My section is St. Bernadette and these are my parents. I am Noel Sabino. And I am Lorena Sabino. We, we are, are the Sabino, Sabino family. family. We will be making a trash to treasure, a Christmas lanterns, materials include or needed. Plastic bottle, cardboard, a stick, and a wire. And for the other materials, we need a glue gun, tape, acrylic paint, and a glue stick. And of course, brushes and scissors. And plastic forks and spoon. Hi everyone! The first step that we need to do is clean the trash bottles. Mother, can you help me? The last bottle! First, we need to dry the bottle. And let's, let's just wait. After washing the bottles, remove the ribbons. Here's my father removing the ribbons. While my father is cutting the bottles and cardboards, my mother and me will paint the spoon and fork. Yes, let's just put it. My mother will put it in. I tried. I'm gonna put it here. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's go. Spoon. Your red color and the yellow. Okay. Just be careful for your red, your host baby. Yes. So you are the red team. Yes. And I am the yellow team. Your papa is what? The green team. The green team. <laughs> So after this, I'm gonna put the uh, spoon. This is kind of good, okay? After we dry the spoons and fork, now we're gonna color this. And the color? First is red here, and you need to count one in into three, one, two, three, and here's the yellow. And the green will be here, and the rest of here will be no, no color. So let's put them. Okay, let's go. Go ahead. A color yellow, and then you red. Yes, I'm done painting. So next, we allow it to dry and wait for the next couple of minutes. I'm gonna put masking tape to highlight the paint or color in the bottle. Okay, now I'm gonna cut it with the scissors, but make sure to ask your parents for help. I have my parents here, so I already asked them. Okay, so what we're going to do is a lantern. Okay, and Nathan, as well as her mom, did the coloring of the plastic bottles. It was shown earlier. Now, what we're going to prepare will be the uh, some sort of a pinwheel, okay, which is present or which will be placed at the center of or at the middle of the lantern. So here is what we're going to be doing. It's some sort of a propeller or more of a fan. Propeller. Okay, so, uh, what we need to do is to come up with a big circle and several small circles which are now being colored okay, green. So what we will do is to place it at the center okay, of the lantern so that when the wind blows, okay, it will turn. Okay? So that is what we want to come up with. Okay? So what we will do now is to measure, of course, making use of the milk cartons. So we are now going to 
Okay, measure and we'll make sure that uh, we have the center, okay, center portion of the box or of the cartons. Okay, so making use of a ruler and a compass, of course, we, we need to be sure that we have a perfect circle. Okay, so we made use of the compass. Okay, so the compass so we use to come up with a perfect circle. Okay. And once we have a circle, of course, the next step is to cut it. Okay, so we need to cut this. Okay, so similar with what I did earlier, so I cut a big circle and I also punch a hole at the center. Okay, and with this, I was able to come up with, okay, this one. Okay, and then, okay, to make it turn, we need to place it. Okay, so we need to make use of an old broom. So we need to cut a portion of the handle of the broom and then place it at the center so that it will turn. Okay, so after we are done with uh, with the uh, small circles which we will paste there or which we are going to paste okay at the side so it will appear just like this okay and then when the wind blows so this will turn so we made use of this as mentioned earlier okay the uh, this came from the plastic bottles okay that is opening up to plastic bottles we made use of it so that we will have a good okay uh, that is a good spin okay so next is uh, so after we're done with this this has to be painted okay so that's it okay So high, now to highlight further the homemade patrol or Christmas lantern, we will now place two dust okay, on top of the masking tape. of our Christmas lanterns! Yay! <laughs> so here is the finished product of our Christmas lantern! The recycled and reused materials are first, bottle, second is spoon and fork of our favorite food chain, next we have stick, next we have old broom, next we have card board and a cup of biscuit and wire and these two things and a birthday decor and a christmas decor and when you put this in a windy place this will spin so that's all so merry christmas and a happy new year thank you for watching